hello everyone welcome back to another video i know it's been a long time since i last posted and i am really glad that you all were patient enough to wait for this video to come out this video is going to be one of the most important videos for all of you because this video will talk about the recent upgrades or the recent changes that has been made to the postgraduate medical education pathway in UAE. Let me just start into the process of enlightening you all the changes that have been made this year. Starting off with one of the biggest changes that has come this year is official merge of postgraduate medical education in Dubai where MBRU which is Mohammed bin Rashid University is offering internship and residency pathways. The medical internship pathway as you would be applying on the DHA website up till this year you would be needing to apply the same thing on the MBRU portal with their eligibility list and criteria as properly mentioned on their website. It, it's a very smooth and easy process once you fulfill the requirements and you can just apply directly on their website. However, there is a query as to the DHA portals are also available and what is the difference between them. So the DHA uh, portal for internships that is open is for private institutions or private organizations and hospitals such as Aster, Dr. Suleiman Al Habib or American Hospital Dubai among many others. All right. So another update that has come with MBRU is the residency pathway, which is of concern to most of you watching this video. MBRU is now offering 18 medical and dental specialties as the postgraduate residency pathway among various fields such as endodontics, general surgery, urology, anesthesia, radiology, neurosurgery, neurology, among many other programs. There is a list of all these programs available on their website and their social media pages. You can follow them to know more about it. Now, the next question is how do you apply to these internship and residency pathways? So it's just simple. Log on to the MBRU uh, web page, create a unique username and password, and then follow the prompts as it allows you to apply for the internship and the residency process. Now, the next update that I'm going to share with you is quite an important one. But before I share that, I would like to mention that I was recently attending the first Emirati Conference on Medical Education, which was hosted in Abu Dhabi on 11th of February by the government of Abu Dhabi. And it has revealed certain upgrades that it has made to the system that has been quite beneficial for all the medical education pathways in the country. So the first update was that NIHS, which you might know as National Institute uh, for Health Specialities, has recently launched Emirati Board, which is level of accreditation in the country to make sure the standard of medical education is on a higher standard than the uh, standard that was in the country before. And with this accreditation, it has announced that it has accredited the medical internship program in Dubai Health Authority as one of the only internship programs to be accredited first under their criteria, which means that the medical internship department in, in Dubai Health Authority has matched all their rules and regulations which makes the certificate that you get from the Dubai Health Authority after completing your medical internship a credible and a valuable one. Now, with the implementation of the Emirati Board, it has also helped uh, streamline a lot of residency uh, programs in the country. So the NIHS, uh, while keeping in line with the Emirati Board, has also lined up a few residency programs which has already been accredited under their guide however the other residency programs are all in a process of getting this accreditation soon when they complete their requirements to match with the level of accreditation that the emirati board will offer so if you are planning your career pathway and you are thinking ue as an option then i think it is time that you think about it deeply about what your next step should be because the level of education especially medical education and healthcare pathway in this country is exponentially rising to a next level. All right, so another update that we have on the DOH residency applications this year, which is the residency program in Abu Dhabi, is that the eligibility criteria has been upgraded in four major criteria. The first one is the pre-entry requirement, which is the MBA examination has a certain pass mark that you need to fulfill to apply for the residency application. For UAE nationals, it is set at 60% and for non-UAE nationals and IMGs, it is set at 75% and above. So candidates scoring below this will unfortunately not be allowed to apply for the residency application in Abu Dhabi. So the second update that they have added this year is your medical school or university grades. So they require a minimum GPA of 3 out of 4 to be achieved in each academic year as well as your final transcript 
if your university does not follow a GPA level of system, then you can follow a percentage based of system where the minimum requirement percentage is 80%. The third step that they have added this year or the third upgrade that they have added this year is the minimum age requirement to be eligible to apply for the residency application process. So for UAE nationals, it is set at 36 years old and below. And for non-UAE nationals and IMGs, it is set at 30 years and below. So candidates who are older than this will unfortunately not be able to apply for the residency application. And the fourth uh, upgrade that they have made this year, apart from medical residency pathway, they also offer dental and clinical pharmacy residency programs. And the upgrade that they have this year is that only UAE nationals can apply for the residency program in dental and clinical pharmacy. Non-UA nationals and IMGs can unfortunately not apply for the residency application for dental and clinical pharmacy. And so that's it for all the updates that we have for this academic year. I am aware of that has come up in this uh, current year. And I can uh, strongly say that the level of education especially the postgraduate graduate medical education in this country is substantially rising and it's growing each day with better healthcare facilities with better opportunities for healthcare professionals and it is your time to retrospect as to how you want to utilize this pathway into providing maximum benefit for you if for any reason you do not understand any of these above steps or any of these above changes you can always feel free to email the authorities they'll get in touch with you responding to proper complaints and to what has to be done uh, or what is to be done as the next step uh, because each student is a unique case and each step requires a unique solution which they will be able to provide if you have any general queries you can always hit me up on my instagram as well and i'll be happy to help you there are many whatsapp groups that have been created to help facilitate the learning methods of group discussions so you can always join i'll just put the group links uh, in the video description below so you can access them easily as well to know more about the internship pathway i'll just put out a link or a playlist over here so that you can watch it and if you have missed out uh, any past videos about the residency process i'll put out a playlist about residency as well so you can watch these after you watch this video if you haven't watched them and to get more better clarity and idea about the process in this country